Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because this is a look that I'm obsessed with and that I love, 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 love how it came out. Um, this look is something that I did for Dia de los Muertos, which I know, I know has already come and gone, but this is something that took me a little bit to edit, actually. I had uh, almost like three hours worth of footage and just uh, the, uh, the entire process and how it came to be so it took a while to edit but alas it's here and i love the end result i actually posted a picture of this look on instagram and it went super well i got a lot of likes and comments and a lot of compliments on it which made of course my heart super super happy so i'm so excited to have this video and share with you the entire process of how it came to be now this video is not going to be a tutorial i'm just gonna make it a process video where i am gonna tell you like the products that I used but I'm not going to go into detail as far as teaching and much detail in what I'm doing because I want this to be more of a process video. Now this look is inspired by the work of two beautiful ladies and their names are Beats by Lizzie and then I also saw this um, other one which is by Renat Makeup. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right but I will leave their pages um, up on screen for a little bit and I will also link them down below. What drew my attention the most about this look were the butterflies. If you know me personally, you guys know that I'm obsessed with butterflies and all that they represent. So I really wanted to do something, Dia de los Muertos, that had some butterflies in it. The monarch butterfly, of course, there's a lot of background there. So I thought it was going to fit in perfectly. I added the lace veil sort of a thing on my head. And this is the end result that I came out with. I'm really proud of myself. I'm super happy with how it came out. And in this video, I'm going to show you the entire process and how I made it. And yeah, let me know what you think. And in the end, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'd love to have you. And without further ado, if you want to see how this look was created, then please stay on and keep on watching. <laughs> All right, guys, so I first started by priming my skin. Then I'm going to go in with foundation and just making sure that I start out with a nice clean canvas. Next, I'm going to conceal with a Tarte Shape Tape. And then we're going to bake our face, our entire face, using some Cody Airspun. And then using a brow pencil, we're going to start sketching where our butterfly is going to be and just the details that we want to put in our face. And then after that, I started doing some of the contouring around the face using an orangey shade starting at the forehead and then on the sides of the cheeks. And then after that, I grabbed a bone matte eyeshadow and just started adding it on the high points of the face and that's going to be our highlight for this look. This is what I'm using to create that skull shape to the face. And 
And then we're going to start doing the eyeshadow for the left eye, starting with a transition shade and then with some black liquid lipstick, just start filling out that eye. And then I'm switching back and forth between some black eyeshadow and some cream shadows as well. These are actually brushes that I got at Michael's and they work super well for this kind of like detail to work. I love them. And then we're going to cut the crease. And fill in that lid using some yellow and orange shadows. And then I'm adding some highlight using some white eyeshadow on the top and on the bottom portion of that black eye, just to give it some dimension. Adding some eyeliner. And then using some white eyeliner, just adding some dots to mimic the monarch butterfly. Of course, applying some lashes. And then we're going to start working on the actual monarch butterfly on the right side of my face. I started with a couple of different orange eyeshadows and just start filling in that area. And then I thought I wanted to cover up my brows, but once again, like I've said before, I can't figure out how to do it or how to perfect it. So this part's going to be a little bit messy, so bear with me. So I added some of the glue to the eyebrow. And now I do know that in order to cover up the brows, you have to start out with a nice clean base instead of doing it in between all of that makeup. So this is kind of useless, but uh, we'll go through it. So I added the glue, then I started to brush them in. The glue was getting super clumpy that wasn't working i added some powder on top using a brush then i wiped that out and then i used a color corrector on top and because it was orange i mean it actually worked in my favor because it was the actual color of the monarch butterfly so i worked with it and i just kept the color corrector as it is i tapped it in using a brush and then i tried adding some foundation on top but as you can see that wasn't working so this all it was kind of a mess in here again i was just trying my best to cover up that brow as much as possible but then i just continued i worked with it and just continued on filling in that monarch butterfly and once again i'm using a lot of different shades of orange for this just to add some dimension and different colors in there so it's not all so monochromatic And then going back to cream makeup, I'm just going in and started drawing in that butterfly starting with the body and then I'm going to go into the wings and just add all of those details that are really going to bring this butterfly to life. And this is the makeup that I'm using. I found this one on Amazon. I was actually looking for some scar wax for my Joker look, 
uh, the stuff that I bought was not scar wax <laughs> so that was my bad but this guy came with it and it also came with like a spoolie too so I actually just kept this one the other thing that I bought was just like wax it was just impossible to work with so I'm never using that again <laughs> I kept this guy and this pack of cream makeup is actually super good I'm I was really surprised of, of the color payoff it has like a gold and a silver in there and the pigment on those I thought it was gonna be like super Vaseline-y um, and they're not they're actually they have so much color they're super beautiful super opaque I love it and I can't wait to keep using it I know I'm gonna get so much use out of it it was like ten dollars I actually want to get the or wanted to get the cover effects one the one that everyone uses but it's super expensive it's around like fifty dollars for that guy this one was around ten dollars and again I was really surprised with the color payoff the pigment is there it's super easy to blend yes it's super like greasy it's a little bit too greasy and you do have to keep it in like a cool temp if not it's gonna like start to melt but otherwise I really liked it and I really enjoyed work working with it And then I did the skeleton detail on the tip of my nose. And then I started to add some yellow highlights to those wings. And then with some white eyeliner, I just went back in and added those monarch butterfly dots all around the wing. And now I started to add those skeleton shadows on the sides of the cheeks, starting with our lighter colors and then going in super detailed and close with some darker shadows. And I'm also doing adding those shadows to the nose.
and then bringing in back those highlights. And then I'm going back in with that cream makeup and adding some black all along my jawline. And now for the fun and most tedious part of this whole process, adding the teeth. And I'm doing so with some white cream makeup. After that, I'm adding in some mascara, top and bottom lashes, and then adding some falsies to my right eye. And then after that, I also wanted to add in some rhinestones just for a, a little bit, something extra, something extra special to this look. So I added a few rhinestones to both sides of my face. And now for the messiest part of this <laughs> look, I actually have my walls now splattered with black paint, which my husband's gonna love. <laughs> I had a black paint all down my chest, my legs, my dress, everything. So this was super, super fun actually. <laughs> so I added some acrylic paint to a like bottle cap, to the bottle cap of that acrylic paint. And I added like just a little bit of acrylic paint and then a lot of water to make it super watery. And then with that brush, I just let it drip down my neck to give it that kind of like melted look. I also added a few dots to the left eye and let it drip on the side of my cheek a little bit and then where you want it to stop you just dab it with your fingers. And I did the same thing on the right eye on that butterfly side. And then I also did that on my hands, just for a little something extra. <laughs> And then I got these guys at Amazon, these little tiny butterflies. They had like um, some wire attached to them. So that's how I attached them to my hair and then to my veil as well, which you'll see in a little bit. And with butterflies in place, veil in place, and everything else, it was just pose, 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 and this was the entire look, you guys. Again, this was something that I did for Dia de los Muertos. I posted it. I got a lot of compliments on it. I'm really thankful for it. I really love how this came out. I know it's a little bit outside the box, just a little bit, <laughs> nothing much, but I love it creating these kinds of looks. These are the kinds of looks where I just tune out, I zone out, and I'm just in the zone, and I just forget about everything, and I'm just in my little world of painting and just creating, which is what I really love to do. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this look. If you have any questions on the products that I used or anything else, I will list all of the products that I used in that description box below. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail in this video, Video, so everything will be listed down below as well if you have any questions. Let me know what other looks you'd like to see from me if you want to challenge me on something, if you see something or a trend on Instagram that you'd like me to create.
create. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your suggestions as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd love to have you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. It's getting closer to the holidays, the most wonderful time of the year. Hope you get to spend it with friends, family, loved ones, and just have a loving, wonderful time. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you right here on my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.